Alberta is calling and Ontarians are answering that call every day. Ontarians? Ontarioans? Ontarianites? I don't know. If you guys are from Ontario, you're obviously going to have to educate me down in the comments because I don't know what I'm saying here. But what I do know is that people are moving from Ontario to Alberta at all-time highs. In fact, the last two dozen or so of my clients have been people who have relocated from the GTA or Ontario as a whole all the way over to Edmonton and purchased a home here in the city of Edmonton or the surrounding area. And they told me that there were six things that they didn't know about Edmonton before they moved out here. So today we're getting right into those six things that you need to know before you move from Ontario to Edmonton. And let's get right into it with number one. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk about, let's get the elephant right out of the room. This is the big one because it is the affordability. Now, don't get me wrong. My clients knew that Edmonton was going to be a lot more affordable than Toronto. That's obvious, but they didn't realize to what extent it was going to be more affordable to live here in Edmonton than in Toronto. Now, we're going to look at a few different things here because affordability isn't just housing, but housing can be a large part of it, right? And especially with the housing crisis that we're seeing in Canada right now, this is a very important thing for these people who are moving out here to Edmonton to escape the expensive housing out in Toronto. So let's just take a look at the median home prices that are here in the city of Edmonton for the end of 2023. Now for a single detached home, the median price is going to be just under 440000 A semi-detached, so a duplex option, you're going to be looking at about $380,000 for the median price. When you look into townhomes, you're probably looking at just under 260 k for the median price. And then for apartments and condominiums, that's going to be about 170000 for the median price. Obviously, all of these, you can find less expensive options. Those are just the median selling prices for those types of units. In fact, I get calls all the time from people who are saying they see apartments in Edmonton for 100000 even a little bit less. And they're asking me what, what the gig is. What's wrong with these apartments? Are they in really bad areas? Do they have severe fire or structural damage? And I tell them that that's not always the case. You got to look into it case by case with these homes, but you can find these apartments for under $100,000, often owning even cheaper than your rent would be on these units. So it is a very affordable market to be able to get into to start your home ownership journey and to be able to get into the home that you wouldn't be able to get into over in Toronto. A lot of my clients, they found that either they couldn't afford a home in the Toronto area or elsewhere in Ontario, or that they were able to take the home that they had in Ontario, sell that, and be able to live much cheaper over here in Edmonton, if not use the proceeds of the sale of that home to pay down the house entirely. Now, these people are living with almost no mortgage and are able to put more of their money towards things that they enjoy, their hobbies, their travel, and their lifestyle. Now, I said that the housing market wasn't the only key to this. Some of the other things are the taxes. So the sales tax in Edmonton or all of Alberta is going to be about 5%. Now, I heard that you're paying almost 13% out there in Ontario, which I couldn't believe. That's almost 10% that you're making a difference on on your everyday purchases. And that can add up to a lot. So those lifestyle purchases that you're making are going to be even more affordable out here in Edmonton. We also have some of the cheapest gas in all the country. Right now, we're a little bit higher than our average at about 135 cents per liter of gas, but that is much more expensive than anywhere else in the country. In fact, I go to BC often during the summertime, and I can't believe it when I have to pay over $2 per liter for a tank of gas. That just blows my mind. Out here in Edmonton, really, you're going to max out at maybe 140, 145 is what we're seeing lately, but usually you're even lower than that. So very affordable gas, very affordable sales tax. And the property taxes here in Edmonton are relatively reasonable. You're going to sit at just under 1% of the purchase price of the property or the city assessed price of the property. So if you're looking at a $400,000 house, you're looking to pay about $4,000 annually in your property taxes. Now that can be a little bit less in some of the suburbs of Edmonton, like Sherwood Park, where you're actually only going to be paying 75 or 0.75% of the sales price. So a $400,000 home, you're only looking at $3,000 per year. That can get a little more expensive in places like St. Albert, but it is generally a lot more affordable just to live here in Edmonton. And that's one of the large reasons my clients came over and it was even better than they realized. Now let's get right into the second thing that all of my clients have told me surprised them when they moved out here to Edmonton. And no surprise again with this one, but it's going to be the weather. That's one thing that everybody thinks is going to be awful when they move out here to Edmonton, that it's going to be freezing cold for eight months a year. They're not entirely wrong. This is Canada, right? We are going to get some pretty harsh winters. Let's start with the summer though. We are going to get fairly hot summers here 
in Edmonton. That does surprise some people. You guys get that out there in Ontario as well. So that's not really a big difference. I'd say most of the time we're hanging out in the mid to high 20s for the summer. You can get weeks where you're hanging out in the mid to high 30s as well. Those can get pretty, pretty hot for some people as well, but it's not going to be as bad. It's not a humid heat either. It's a pretty dry heat, which some people find more bearable. Some people find less bearable. It really is to your taste. Now in the winter, the one thing that all my clients have mentioned is that they were surprised the snow sticks around here in Edmonton. So I've heard out there in Toronto, really the snow kind of melts most of the time when it falls and you don't have that sticking around the entire winter. It is a completely different story out here in Edmonton. When it snows, typically you're going to see that stick around until, you know, April when it starts to melt. And that's going to show in tall snow banks on the sides of the roads, on the sides of people's driveways. When you're shoveling your driveway off, you're going to have to throw it over a five foot bank of snow on the side of the driveway. And so that is something that shocked a lot of people who moved out here to Edmonton from Ontario. The other thing is how cold it gets during the winter. And actually, it's not too bad compared to other major Canadian cities. Again, we do have a dry cold, which some people tolerate a little bit better than a wet cold. Some people don't like it as much, right? So it's going to be to your preference what you're able to handle a little bit better. And now the temperature itself isn't going to differ that much outside of a couple months a year. I've talked about this in a few of my videos but we get a few months of the year where we get polar vortexes, which is these winds that come from the Arctic and they blow down through Alberta, through Edmonton, through Calgary, and it can get really cold for those couple of weeks that we get those. I'm talking minus 40 with the wind chill or even below. Really, you don't go outside during those weeks unless you have to. Now, a lot of people ask me about cars with the block engine heaters. I'm not a mechanic, so I'm not super into that kind of stuff. However, some people do have to plug in their cars or they won't start the next morning, especially on those really cold weeks. You won't have to do it all throughout the winter, but sometimes you do have to get that engine block heater with the cord that you can plug in overnight on those really cold nights to make sure that your car starts. Typically only if you're parking outside. If you're in a garage, most of the time you are going to be fine. But that is one thing that surprised a lot of my clients about the winters here in Edmonton. Now, this next one that we're going to talk about is kind of a combo point. We're going to be talking about the people and the slower pace of life in Edmonton, because I, I figured that these kind of melt together. That's what most of my clients have been saying. But essentially, a lot of these people who are driving over from Toronto to Edmonton, or maybe they fly over, and they say they notice a stark difference from day one when they get here to Edmonton. The, the, the pace of life is just a lot slower, where in Toronto, they experienced it was very hustle bustle, and you kind of have your head down, you're doing your own thing, focusing on your own life. People don't stop to help each other as much. That is something that they saw completely flip 180 when they moved out here to Edmonton, that people are more willing to spend the time out of their day to help somebody who might be in need or just have a conversation with somebody that they run into. They almost used the exact same story, all of them, when they moved here, where they went into a coffee shop, a Tim Hortons, a Starbucks, whatever it was, and they were surprised when people weren't all looking down at their phones or making phone calls. The cashier chatted them up and asked them how their day was or maybe somebody else in line. And they say they were completely shocked that they would have never seen that in Ontario, but that people here in Edmonton just have more time for each other. They also say, and I've heard this from people no matter where they're from, whether it's Ontario, BC, or the States, where they say that the people here in Edmonton are some of the nicest that they've met anywhere in their travels or in the different places they've lived. I've heard that time and time again. Again, there's no stats behind that. That is completely subjective and just based off the experiences and stories that I've heard of. But I've heard that from enough people where I do think that there is something to that, that the people here in Edmonton are very nice to each other, that they're more easygoing, that they're friendlier to talk to than in some other places. Now, the slower pace of life. I have my theories as to why this is. Maybe it's because we have less traffic here in Edmonton or the fact that it's a more affordable place to live, but there's just a slower pace of life here in Edmonton. People are more relaxed. It feels more family friendly. Uh, it seems like people take more time to get to know their neighbors and each other versus just focusing on their own life and their own lifestyle. So that is something that a lot of my clients have enjoyed when they've made the move out here to Edmonton is that people just had more time for them. They were able to enjoy a slower pace of life. They spent less time in traffic and that was just such a major benefit to them when they moved out here to Edmonton. Now that's kind of going to piggyback into the next one because the next one is the driving. Now I have heard mixed opinions on this from people depending on 
how they drove, obviously, or where they were from. Some people do say that we have a little bit more aggressive drivers here in Alberta. Some people say that we drive too slow here in Alberta, that they're used to driving faster. Now, the one thing they've all mentioned is you spend less time in your car. As I just mentioned, there's less traffic here in Edmonton, a little bit at rush hour, sometimes when there's construction, but most of the time you're not sitting in bumper to bumper. You're not hearing people honk at each other like you do in the movies in New York and Toronto. Really, it just is a more, because we have that spread and that sprawl in Edmonton, it's not so dense and you're not going to have that extreme traffic at all hours of the day. Now, the drivers, in my personal experience, what I've noticed is we do have some slower drivers on the road, probably, you know, to go along with that slower pace of life. They're less bothered and hurried to get to where they're going. And then because of those slower drivers, you get the overly aggressive guys in the trucks with the truck nuts on the back who just cut you off and try to get ahead or, you know, have some choice words for you as they pass. That's going to happen. I'm sure it happens everywhere. You do notice it a little bit here in Edmonton. Some people think that's the Ontario drivers who have come over here to Edmonton. I think they're probably born and raised. But the driving, there is a mixed bag. It depends on your driving habits. But some people are going to think it's too slow. Some people are going to think it's too fast. Everybody does mention that there is less traffic here in Edmonton, and it's slightly more enjoyable. Now, we've only got two left. We are going to talk about the crime here in Edmonton, because that is a big question that a lot of people had. We're going to talk about that last. We do have one more to go over before that. And that is going to be the amount of trees that we have here in the city. Now, I've talked about this ad nauseum here on the channel. So people who have watched this channel know that we do have a lot of trees and a lot of parks here in Edmonton. Again, this is kind of like the affordability where these clients move out here and it's just way more than they were expecting. Now, coming from Toronto, a lot of these clients lived in the concrete jungle. You go outside and there's buildings and it's as high as you can see. You can't, you know, see through them or see past them. You're going to have those buildings and those skyscrapers all throughout the city. Here in Edmonton, you can't go anywhere without seeing trees everywhere. We get very mature communities that have trees lining both sides, get the canopy over top of the street as they, especially when they get foliage, you're going to see that that's completely covered. Those beautiful communities, even outside of that, when you look in the newer communities, they're making an effort to plant a lot of trees in the city so that you really feel like you're enveloped in nature no matter where you go in the city. And outside of just the trees in the city, we do have a lot of parks. We have a lot of ravine and walking trail systems that you can access from really most places in the city with a short drive. And so that's going to be something that's at your fingertips. That's something they mentioned they loved as they came over here and they were able to see the blue skies the trees all throughout the city that they didn't have their views obstructed by these tall skyscrapers. And they felt they were more connected in nature instead of living in the concrete jungle in Toronto. Now, guys, again, before we get to this last one, if you are thinking about relocating from Ontario to Edmonton, I would be happy to be your real estate resource of choice. So make sure to get in contact with me. My information is in the description, in the top comment. We want to make it as easy as possible on you guys. Feel free to reach out whether you're moving next week or next month or next year. I am happy to help. Now let's get right into the last one, and that's going to be the crime. I don't know who has it out for Edmonton with these major news networks, but they make it seem like Edmonton is the worst place to live in all of Canada, that we're this dangerous city that you can't go out walking at night. I'm here to tell you that it's over-exaggerated. These hit pieces are not what they're made out to be. And I'm going to tell you that from the experience of my clients who have come out here to look for homes or who have purchased a home unseen and come out to Edmonton and said, I, I don't know what these news articles are talking about. Toronto is way worse. I fear for my safety all the time in Toronto. This is a walk in the park. I'll tell you that Edmonton, yes, the stats do back it up. Edmonton is probably one of the more dangerous cities to live in in Canada, at least one of the more dangerous major cities. However, that is very localized to a few communities. And if you know where to stay away from, or if you have a real estate agent who can guide you to the right place, those are not going to be in your day-to-day at all. And most people, even the neighborhoods that they saw get negative stigma online, they visited those neighborhoods to check out some homes and said that it was nothing to worry about, that it doesn't even compare to what they experienced in Toronto. So again, that's highly subjective compared to where you have lived in your life and what your tolerance to different crimes are. I like to use the Edmonton Police's crime map. They have a, a neighborhood overlay where they can check out the different crimes that have happened recently in different neighborhoods. Now, just so you know, you can't treat all those crimes the same because sometimes you look at neighborhoods and they seem like they're very high crime and then you click on those crimes and it's tax evasion or it's something else like that, maybe a little bit of petty property crime on a building, some graffiti or something like that. And so again, you really have to take into context 
what those crimes are. It's not as bad as it might seem from all these hit pieces that come out about Edmonton. And this is why it's so important to get in touch with a local real estate agent who is familiar with the area. I was born and raised here. I'm happy to help you find the right community. Now that's it for today. Make sure you click one of these other videos so that you can see our other videos about living in Edmonton. See if this is the right fit for you and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a piece of content about living here in Edmonton.